Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel, where I'm always breaking down the hot sports topics of the day. My name is Mike. You know, a lot of things have been sort of discussed since Wes Welker signed uh, the deal with the Broncos last week, two years, $12 million. Um, a lot of posturing by the Patriots, uh, sort of justifying, you know, why they didn't sign Welker. A lot of blame being placed uh, on the agents for Wes Welker from owner uh, Robert Kraft. You know, I think, you know, why you're seeing Robert Kraft do those kinds of things, blaming the owner, things of this nature, is I think that, you know, Robert Kraft, Jonathan Kraft, and Bill Belichick are not dumb men. They know that this decision to not retain Welker and not give him what was perceived to be a little bit of a bump up in pay from where they were, you know, it's it's not taken very well by their fan base as a whole, and of course their star quarterback Tom Brady. So you're seeing them deflect, place the blame elsewhere, and basically playing the spin game again with their fans. More their fans. You know, more so. I'm sure they've had private conversations with Brady, uh, justifying you know why. Uh, you know, they indeed decided to part ways with Wes Welker and essentially bring in Danny Amendola as his replacement. You know, I think that, you know, the, the, this Belichick and the two crafts, this regime has been pretty well known for not making emotional, personal decisions when evaluating players, deciding whether to uh, extend players' contracts, etc. I mean, you just look at a guy like Logan Mankins. He had bad things to say about the Patriots organization, but he plays a position that the Patriots value. He's very good at that position. He was in the prime of his career, and they paid him. So, you know, they were able to separate in that case. I just think for whatever reason, when Wes Welker did not take uh, the extension the Patriots were offering him after last season, and he signed the franchise tender, I think for whatever reason, and who knows what went on behind closed door doors, the relationship between Wes Welker and the front office and Bill Belichick was done. And I just think it was a matter of time before the Patriots got there in and got away to get him out of town. Uh, you know, they certainly didn't get rid of him because he was non-productive, that's for sure. Uh, the Patriots, it was either a personal thing or they think that Welker was a product of the system and they can take a guy like Amendola, plug him in, and go from here. And what I'd say to that was, is, you know, the games played to me is the biggest benefit to a guy like Welker and the biggest detriment to a guy like Amendola. Amendola's played 12 games in two years, okay? Uh, Welker, for the position he plays, for the way he plays it, was extremely durable. So we'll see how this situation pans out or this, you know, uh, this whole Welker going to the Broncos pans out for both sides. I think if Welker's healthy in Denver with a quarterback like Peyton Manning, is he going to have 110, 115 catches? I don't think so because I think the Broncos have better uh, wide receiver talent than the Patriots ever had when Welker was there. Yes, I know Welker has Gronkowski and Hernandez, but I'm talking wide receiver talent. Uh, but can Welker have 90, 95 catches for 1,100 yards? I don't think that's out of the realm at all. And uh, we'll see from the Patriots' standpoint. How does Amendola come in and fill those shoes? If it's not Amendola who gets the extra catches, who picks up those 110 catches that are now being vacated uh, from Welker obviously moving on? Uh, I think it's a decision that the Patriots will regret, at least for the next two years. Uh, we'll see how this pans out because, again, they have Amendola for five years if they choose to keep him that long. And again, I think this was a personal thing that when Welker decided to sign the franchise tender for $9 million and not sign like a three-year, uh, you know, around $20 million extension that was offered to him, I think that miffed the Patriots front office, the owner, and is why you're seeing all this posturing because they know they made an unpopular decision both with their fans and their star quarterback who has been rumored to be furious about this as well. So... Let me know what you think of, of this continuous talk of the Wes Welker situation with the Patriots. Uh, what is your opinion on it? I know there's strong opinions either way. Uh, there's a lot of people out there who think that, you know, Welker was just a product of the system. He made some key drops and they're just going to move on from him. I just don't think it's that easy. But let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter. And guys, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm talking sports here um, all night. Usually start posting videos late in the afternoon into the night. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks again for listening and have a great day.